If the frame went, if the stream went down, guys, just refresh. Be back up. Trying to do the stream right now. You're wondering why, so Dark Alice has flipped. Um, I'm trying to get everything back on my nice side, guys. I'm trying to bring the chat up. We had some issues. Um, Dark Alice has flipped up. There was another swing. Uh, I'm going to go check live just to make sure because I was trying to get things sorted out. I'm back, guys. We are still at 45 to 21. Um, so, no issues there. Trying to set it up so I have the chat again. We were having some issues with the, uh, the data. We had a little mini spike, but we're back. So... So let me know when the audio's back up, guys. Just make sure, just send me a quick chat message. Uh, I was trying to run the chat on the same thing that my um, streaming was happening on, just to say battery life on my phone, but it's not the case. So I'm gonna have to go back to using the chat on my phone so if I don't respond fast enough or very fast that's why but I will do what I can so Dark Faria from Ken if for any reason the street goes dead guys you can just uh, send me a message saying that it's like completely crashed. I will refresh the stream and uh, get right back in and you can just do everything else. What's up, Alexander? Oh, both streams died? So it definitely was just a data spike. That way affect as well. If he attacked, yeah, she should have gained 500 more from there. I, I got it, I got it, guys. I'm fixing. Yeah, if it ever goes down, just let me know. And uh, I will refresh it as fast as I possibly can. Yep, we saw the God's Art. Did he swing in for 9-14? Or did he, he block with the Dark Varia? 
which actually means oh he did So he did swing for 14, so that puts him down to 600. Let me see double flames. And so that Alice is actually dead. He's down to 4,500. And then Ken gains 500. So that ruler actually needs to be astral. Fixed it. Alice is Astral, we just fixed it. So we're trading Dark Farias here. Um, Having lost his Dark Alice, I don't know what David's going to be able to do to finish the game off. I mean, Dark Alice, obviously, but Ken sitting at six is using Reflect Pump to, and then Portal of Truth. Yeah, that's really clever. So you can. Uh, you can do that. You can pump with Reflector Fane and then kill with Portal of Truth. And actually, the thing is with the um, Flames twice, is it just each one is a single chain. So you Flames, let it resolve. You retain priority because there's nothing else on the chase. Start a new chase with the new Flames. And you, just, you can't do anything with it. You're right. He needs to be at 12 and not 11. Thank you for that correction. So we see a Nyarlathotep, which is for a Portal of Truth, a Pumpkin Witch, and a s Unseen Presence. You grab Portal at this point. You have to grab Portal, because he can just, like, pump you up and kill you for two. Again, the Nyarlathotep. He's going to tap for stone. If your stream is having issues, just go ahead and refresh it. So I, after seeing the Pumpkin Witch, I can definitely attest to the fact that this is probably the exact same list that uh, we saw Kathy play in round one, but I talked to her afterwards and she said that she is not feeling well and wasn't feeling well last night. So she like played the deck twice and was like, sure, I'll play this. <laughs> so this is the list that Ken has been working on for a while. I think it's a very interesting take on Reflect. Honestly, I might have to grab this list and play it myself because it's got all the cards that I really enjoy. So again, we see Dark Faria come out and kill the Nyarl. It's filtering with Reflect Refrain. Doesn't really need that. I don't know why you got... Did he filter away the side? He's gonna flip. He didn't. I wonder why.
So another sc a scorn to grab the pumpkin witch, which doesn't really do much. I think he, he did play the one will to flip. He had to. He's pay four for the dark at the dark varia, and then he played one to flip to flip. So I just added a mod, guys. Infest Knight is Chris Duran from Force of Will US. So thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, and Chris, he is going to be helping me out with the chat. So when I can't watch you, Chris will. So this is a pretty bad spot for David to be in. He's just essentially drawing dead. Um, pops the Barrier Shadows. So now he can just play things for free. I, I, I really don't know if I... Oh! Play Sight to pop it with his own hair and draw a card. It's actually really clever. And then filter with Perfect Frame. Just a lot of filtering. Now he's going to get rid of the Scythe. He doesn't need the Scythe anymore. So there's another 500 point swing. Actually, actually a grand. Because... Ken will gain 500, going up to 1,700. Do what, oh, they <laughs> used one of my business cards to indicate Gazart. Oh, wait, no, it's going to be 200 less. I apologize. Because uh, of the dark, the uh, Gazart, so it's actually uh, 1,300. And 44, I believe. I will go check later. But uh, Dark Fari is actually minus two, minus two. Because of God's Art. Yep, I fixed it, guys. Thank you. But again, at this point, even with all those stones up and stuff, I don't really know how... David can bring this back. Especially with four orbs. So there's three. And another three. For 600. And another 300 point gain for Tober. Good old Ken. A barrier got popped by a Dreams of Juliet. Jim, we're up to 170. Hundred and seventy players or sixty eight players watching the stream. So here it comes and pops one of the orbs. It's going to minus two, minus two. And he's just going to bounce it back to his hand in response. So during the end of the turn, it looks like what we're doing is uh, we are filtering, or drawing cards with the three orbs and reflect refrain. Oh no, and then a filter. So a draw and then a filter. So put a counter, draw, filter. And then draw for turn with the feasting on board. Just trying to see exactly what lines of play he wants to do.
So he played the Dark Power to kill the Hera. And then is going to swing in with for another six. And then a 32. Uh, because of the minus two, minus two. Um, Servant of Reflect. Thankfully, because of the continuous effects, they will start applying at the same time. So even though he's only a 1-1, one, one, the effects apply at the same time. And so Reflect, or Servant of Reflect, will not die to the God's Art. So again, Ken is just in a very good position here. Honestly, I don't really know why he flip. Um, maybe because he doesn't want to use the counters now that he has Servant. Which makes sense. Soul Hunt. Uh, that... Is that a Black Miasma? Oh no, it's an Unseen Presence. Ah, yeah, Hera's going to get sacked. He's going to discard a card. It was the Unseen Presence. Yeah, Hera at this point has already done her job. So Ken's going to filter. And Ken knows at this point he doesn't really need to scorn. So that's actually a really smart play to fil just filter that away. those counters and stuff, just pumping up, doing his own draw step. He's going to pump up Dark Faria, swing, Faria, swing 5, so that's actually a 5 point swing because he pumped it up. And how much is that uh, Servant? The servant was an 8-8. Eight, eight. So, and then another, so we go down to, uh, I miss, apparently I missed something. So, 14. Oh, and this, yeah, so David makes the right pie here. He just goes, you know, we only have 18 minutes left on the round. We, I need to, I need those turns uh, scooped. So really good play there. So we're going to go into game two. So reset life. So really good play from both players. Um, double flames is is a problem. Uh, it is something that you get to deal with. Um, so we'll see what they side into. But we are going in. Yeah, I mean, 18 minutes on time. Uh, Dark Alice can finish games off very quickly. Um, so we'll see. I would agree that once he was in top tech mode and he just started seeing that pressure, he should have just uh, scooped. Like the second Dark Farius started sticking, you scoop and go to game two because uh, you possibly want to be able to win out in game three. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. I am here and ready. So, I don't know the lists. Sorry, excuse me, guys. It's been a long day <laughs> already. Um, if I'm the Dark Atlas player at this, I don't know what his sideboard is. But if his sideboard is Vlad, he needs to bring that in. 
because having access to a continual mana sink, even if he runs out of cards, is good. I mean, it can compete. I mean, with that game was pretty much won because of Dark Alice. Or, sorry, because of Dark Faria. So having access to a permanent... Um, it's a permanent uh, way to do that without a response is pretty good. Uh, if I'm Ken, though, I probably just stick to the same game plan because he's in a game where he can he can grind this one out if he wants to but I mean he could possibly switch to something I mean he didn't look like he sided that many cards so I really feel like it could be a easy to just play what what sticks play what sticks and uh, bring that consistency again I think Ken, Ken's list is a solid example of how the reflect refrain in the hands of an incredibly skilled player is just a tool. It's just a tool. It makes strong decks stronger. It makes strong players who really can think things through really much better. Because, you know, you don't have to worry. You can, again, you can eliminate more luck. You can eliminate luck from the game. And so if you build your decks really well, really, you know, really think through, really test, really work through, you're rewarded because you have more skill than luck. <laughs> I've been informed by Stephanie that something ridiculous is about to happen. We'll see. People get, get people a little more excited. We'll see. I am interested. So they're picking mulligans. Dropping frames again, guys. I'm gonna reset the stream real fast. Well, if it keeps going, we'll let know. Blazer versus Reflect uh, is what's happening here. I'm not down to a place where this is impossible, so if there's any lag, guys, I apologize. So, first turn, barrier. Oh, looks like my looks like we're past the lag, so hopefully that lag spike doesn't stick around. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and reset the stream. So just a heads up, guys. So this is it's doing the spiking. So uh, be back in like two.